Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to learn introduction to array on Google Apps Script. So this work similar to JavaScript array. So if you are familiar with JavaScript array, you can apply the same concepts and methods and functions on Google Apps Script array as well. So basically, you have to go for array when you have large data sets. So let's say you have around thousands or hundreds of records you cannot go and create a variable for each and every record so what you can do is you can combine and put it in an array and you can retrieve them using an index at any time you want so that is how the array work and let's explore how to create a basic one dimensional array so let me create a name variable name called array1 and the array always lies within the data of array always lies within the square bracket so let me add some data to the array in javascript the array accept any type of data it could be a string or it could be a number or it could be a boolean or whatever the data it accept and process it for you that's the beauty of array in javascript so this is very simple one dimensional array here i have declared a variable name array1 which define this array and this array contain three records mango banana and orange okay so this is a very simple one dimensional array let's see how to access the value within the array so we can access the value of array by index in array index always starts with zero so if you want to retrieve the value of mango you should give the index zero one two so let's say if i want to retrieve the value of orange i have to use an index of two because this is zero one two so it will print the value orange in the log so here i go so this is how you can access any data within the array by its index. So now let's say you want to change the value of array. So let's say instead of mango, you want to add kiwi to the zeroth index. Let's see how to do that. So once you have declared the array, you still have the option to change the value of data present in the array. Let's see how to do that. You can use the same index concept to change the value of array, right? So here, if you see that I'm referring to zeroth element in the array one and uh, assigning a value QV to it. So when I print array one, it won't show mango because this QV will replace the mango. Kiwi, banana, and orange. Got it right? So, this is how you can change the value of element in an array. So, let's see how to iterate through an array. So, before I iteration, so you need to know the length of the array. So, in order to know the length, in other words, the size of the array, you can use a method length. So, which return the number of record this array one contains. So we can use the same length to loop through each and every record. So let's see how to do that. I'll create a for loop. Since the array index starts with zero, let me start my for loop with zero. And it should be lesser than array one dot length because this length is going to return the actual number of records. And this length index starts with one. So that is why we are using the lesser than rather than lesser than or equal to and i plus plus so here i'm going to print the records one by one array one of i so during the first rotation it is going to print qv because we have changed in the meanwhile and in the second iteration it's going to print banana and in the third iteration it's going to print orange let's see how it work so here you go so it iterated three times and print the data one by one. So this is a very simple iteration, but of 
course as i said there are more advanced titration like map reduce filter that we will see in the upcoming videos so next we will see how to add element to the array so there is an important concept called push you can use this method to push a new data to the existing array so let's say if i want to add one more fruit called what we can say grape let's say grapes i can pass the data inside the method push so if i print array 1 it should contain grape along with these three records so here you go it added the grapes along with the existing array data so now if you want to remove the last element of an array there is an another method called pop that will remove the last element in an array so let's say i want to remove the orange then i can use a method pop okay so if i run this one it should not show orange so let's say you have a collection of data but you want to convert it into a string format so how to do that you can use a simple method called to string which will take care of converting all your data into a string so let's see how it works so it was separated with comma and convert all the data in an array one to string format so if you feel that you want you don't want to separate it with comma you want to separate it with something else then you can go for a method join and how you want to separate you can pass that as a parameter i want to separate each and every data with a dash so i have given a dash inside the double quotation and if i execute that one each and every data will be separated with dash as you see here so this is a one way of combining all the data into a string format so let's say you have a two array okay and you want to combine two array this is an array one and this is an array two right let's name this as kiwi grapes and let's say tomato So array one contain three fruits and array two contain another set of three fruits. So if you want to concatenate these two, you can use a method concat log dot log. You can concat array one with array two using concat method, and this concat method accept an argument where you can pass the array that you want to combine so it will combine this array 2 along with array 1 so if you execute and see we will get a six records so combination of array 1 and array 2 so this is a very basic introduction about array concepts on google apps script in the upcoming video we will see how to deal with a large amount of uh, data let's say in sheet one if you have some hundreds of thousands of records let's see how to process in a much faster way using this array account so that is what we are going to see in the upcoming video and if you like this video give thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you bye bye